Janice, we're ready to go. If you don't get us up and running, I'll never get control of <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. <coughs> All right, good morning. Let's get everybody situated and we'll call the Rankin County Board of Supervisors meeting uh, to order December 28, 2017. Uh, we'll call the Planning Commission meeting to order. We'll start with an invocation and, and historically, like I said, we like to call on different people to pray for us. So we're going to start with our EOC director this morning who comes <laughs> into place. We're going to let him stand up and uh, welcome our group and start us with an opening prayer. All right. Well, How about that impromptu? Huh? Let, let's pray. Father, we come to you this morning. Thank you so much, Lord, for allowing us to have a wonderful, wonderful uh, Christmas season. Lord, thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, without the birth, there couldn't be the death. And uh, Father, thank you so much uh, for, I cannot imagine the love of, of sending my son to die for, um, for anyone. But thank you so much for loving us. Father, uh, we ask a special blessing on this board of supervisors this morning that they could continue to make the prudent decisions to, uh, to make our county one of the most progressive counties um, in these United States. Father, just uh, I pray that you give them wisdom and uh, Lord, just the, the ability to, to truly uh, fall back on your word as their rule and guide on every decision that they make. Father, in all these things we ask, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 How about that for welcoming the new guy? I didn't know he was getting that. Just kind of throwing a little curveball out of the gate. Mr. S Mr. Slade's book, page six. Throw it at the new guy, right? He sent me a text message. All right. I, I figured he did. I figured he did. All right. Calling the planning meeting to uh, planning commission meeting to order. Um, need a motion on old business. So moved. Second. I'm sorry. Approval of minutes. I'm sorry for November 30th minutes. So we got a motion by Mr. Bishop, second by Mr. Gaines. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed to the like sign. All right, now into old business. Ms. Lawrence, sorry about that. <coughs> okay. All right, under old business is a conditional use permit that's scheduled for Tuesday. Um, would y'all like to review that or see any reason to? Uh, I'm good. Right. I think we're all good there. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Lawrence. Let's go to item four, new considerations. All right, the first item is a conditional use permit for Robert Kelly at 244 Hickory Ridge Road. This property is located on the west side of Hickory Ridge Road. Uh, Mr. Kelly seeking the conditional use permit to uh, surface mine five acres for construction of a pond. The pond's actually going to be located on two parcels that total 26 acres. This property is zoned RE1A. That's an aerial view of that property. Uh, this is his site plan. He shows the uh, pond is four acres with the um, Actual, the uh, entrance to the mine, the road, it totals five acres. This is a view of that property. Uh, we did receive a copy of the permit coverage from DEQ in the application. And then these are just surrounding properties. I make a motion to set the public hearing. Right. So, motion by Mr. Morrison to set the public hearing, second by Mr. Morrow. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed to the like sign? Item A passes. Item B, Ms. Lawrence. All right, is a conditional use permit for R&M land and timber on Monterey Road. Uh, this property is located on the west side of Monterey Road. Uh, R&M is seeking a conditional use permit to surface mine 47 acres of a 73.38 acre parcel. It's zoned A1. They're estimating that the mine will be active for a period of six years, and they're in the process of submitting the surface mining permit application to DEQ at this time. This is a view of that property. And then this is just surrounding. Where are they planning on entering? Uh, I believe they're going to try to enter off of Highway 469, uh, where there's already a, a culvert. They'll have to get permission to that's what problem. I understood, but I, I think it, it doesn't show that on there. When I was looking at the drawing, it kind of indicated I thought more. Well, he did show a hall, uh, a hall road. Um, I don't think I have that picture on here. Um, but yeah, he did show the hall road coming in up there on Monterey. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure that. I know he's got to go through some other property, and uh, maybe they're trying to work out something there would be ideal to get it out on 469. In fact, it's have we ever 
very difficult to come out on Monterey. If you set that, if you set that as a condition and we catch them going out the other end, do we ever do anything about fines and stuff like that for uh, putting a little something in there to kind of make them adhere to the route they're supposed to go to? We hadn't addressed that yet. You could. You if could, they uh, didn't uh, abide by the conditions, though, you could revoke the conditional use permit. You know the area better than I do, but if you go the other way, it really gets narrow. I think, there, well, they won't be able to go the other way. I mean, it, it, it's, no. it's tight. Uh, but I mean, yeah, but I just no, sure you could, you know it's you could be, revoke their. You, it's going to happen at some point. I mean, I think. I mean, somebody's got a, a road truck, whatever. But you, 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 you got it covered, so I'll go on. No. If they're really. RCD, we can, huh? we can address it, but that's not in the RCD. We tried to get them in there, you know. They won't. <laughs> <laughs> keep your swag. Keep your swag. Sorry. Right. Right. Hey, you got to turn it when you get a chance. Yeah, you got to get it where you can, can't you? you get it, fire a couple shots at him early. All right. So we just need you to set motion? that public hearing, motion, please. Set the public hearing? Yeah. And a motion uh, by Mr. Morrison, second by Mr. Marr to set the public hearing. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed to the light sign? Item B passes. Item C, Ms. Lawrence. All right, the la this is, this yeah. is the he last does, item under new considerations. It's a dimensional Miami. variance request by Green Diamonds LLC at 439 Greenfield Ridge Circle. Uh, this is lot 70 of Greenfield Ridge Part 1D. Um, that's an aerial view of the property. Um, the R1D zoning requires a side setback of five feet, but with a minimum distance between dwelling units on adjoining lots of 15 feet. Uh, the southwest corner of the house on lot 70 encroaches 2.7 feet into the 15-foot minimum distance between dwelling units. And so they're asking for a d dimensional variance of 2.7 feet. Can't they just pick it up, baby? it? No, sir. <laughs> My attempt of humor, I make a motion we set the hearing. All right, so we got a motion by Mr. Morrow. Second. Second by Mr. Bishop. Any further discussion? <laughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Any opposed to the light sign? Item C passes. So item 5. This is Site Plan Architectural Review for Lake Village Daycare. It, the address is supposed to be 1036 Lake Village Circle. Um, Lake Village runs off Grants Ferry to Spillway Road. Um, they're uh, proposing to construct a 9,120 square foot activity center on this property. That's an aerial view. They have an existing building on this property uh, at the current time. Uh, this is their site plan. You can see the existing building and then the uh, location of the proposed new activity center. Uh, everything, they have hard surface parking. Um, this is a color rendering of the front of the building. The entire building will have a brick facade. The front has some metal siding in there with it. Is this the same place that is something that's come up here before? Um, we did have something in the past. Like a bowling alley or skating rink or something? Skating rink, but I think it was on a different property maybe. He, Mr. Um, Jones is here if he wants so to answer that. Is this the same location? It that is, is the, same the location. exact same location. Okay. Their um, plans. Well, I know there was a bunch of folks flooded out last time, so just be prepared. Well, this is a site plan architectural review. I mean, it's allowed in the C2, it's zone C2. I don't think, I don't think it's a decision on it. I mean, I think it's just. I don't than, think it was necessarily a decision last time either. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. What's the existing building? Daycare. The, oh. The existing building There's is a daycare. daycare. There's a daycare there now. Is this going to be an accessory building to the daycare facility? Yes. Activity center, it shows some classrooms and then just a large area for activities. Um, well, I'm not saying I'm against it. I'm just saying that there was a flock of folks filled up this room whenever there was a proposed skating rink over there. And their complaint was they didn't, didn't want, want it. Skate, didn't want a skating <laughs> rink. But uh, Mr. Jones might want to answer if this uh, it's not open to the public. It would just be for the daycare itself. I got you. But Correct. Probably normal. Oh, that'll be operating easy. hours. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm good with the only thing is the. Uh, Mr. Parker's approval of the drainage and all? That's right. We have not received that, and um, okay. if you approve it, it just needs to be done contingent upon okay. his approval of that. Okay. I'll make that motion to approve contingent on Mr. Uh, Parker's approval of the drainage. Second. 
Second. Second by Mr. Bishop. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed to the like sign? Item A passes. Item six, nuisance properties. Ms. Lawrence. Mr. Slate, sorry about that, Mr. Slate. The, the first item under nuisance section is the. Hey, hold, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Uh, uh, all right. Renee might have been through with me. Sorry, I didn't show the adjoining properties. Okay, I'm ready. Very good. Thank you. Okay. All right, Mr. Slate, I, thank you. Uh, item 6A is is the uh, James Alford Pond Masters nuisance property, 1584 Old Fannin District 2 parcel. This time we'll open the. Uh, hearing on the uh, nuisance parcels. I'll ask Ms. Renee to give us a, uh, a tour here of the uh, property. All right, we've received complaints on this property, um, you know, periodically through the years. Um, these pictures were taken November 29th of 2017, uh, just showing the condition of the property. That property is zone C2. It only allows for um, merchandise being offered for sale inside an enclosed structure. Uh, they continue to place items on the outside. Um, we've sent them letters in the past and they do get better, but then it comes back. These are pictures that were taken yesterday. They have cleaned up a good bit. Um, we heard from Mr. Alford's wife yesterday and she said that he was in the hospital and was not, unable to attend today. Um, that camper uh, she said actually belongs to the storage facility and that they had placed it on their property temporarily uh, and they don't know who it belongs to but she said that if it if they can't contact the owner or whatever they're going to put it back over on the storage facility uh, they still have a few articles up under the little porch area there and along the side of the building but they it is better have anything under the porch so well, that's not it. It's constantly, you know, it's, stuff out there on the side of the road. It's, 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 it's an absolute porch. mess. I, mean, I, I was by there last week, and there were things for sale out on the road. Yeah, yeah. You may have just done that in the last thing, but I mean, my my personal take on the thing is is they need to understand the importance of not putting it back out there. It's multiple times we've been out there, we sent letters, and they're not wanting to, to follow with it. So I'm, I'm of the notion, especially with them not here, is to forward it on up to justice court. I think I feel the same, yeah, especially since no one came to represent them. <laughs> yeah, you can send uh, the manager or something. That, so. I do want to make it, the, the hearing is over. Is there anybody here to speak <laughs> on the issue of the pawn masters loses? Anybody? Okay, the record will reflect that there is no one here. So. All right. All right, so I'll make that motion to forward it up to Justice Court. Second. Second by Mr. Bishop. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed to the like sign? Thank you. Item B. Mr. Slay. Yes, that is the uh, Robert Layton, Cordell Layton Estate Nuisance Property, 688 Highway 468, District 3. We'll open that hearing and I'll ask Renee to demonstrate with the photos. All right. Um, these pictures were taken December uh, 2017, December um, 18, 18. That's quick enough. We've gotten multiple complaints through the years on this house that's falling in. Right past the big curve. <clears throat> And we took pictures again yesterday, but there's not been any uh, real change. Mr. Layton is here if you, you know, he may want to address. Falling in. This, this would be the appropriate time for anyone here to speak on the matter of the Robert Layton, Cordell Layton Estate nuisance property. Does anyone want to speak on this matter? Yes, sir. You'll, you'll come forward, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Give your name and address. Uh, I'm Jimmy Layton. I'm the oldest son. That's my uh, mother and dad's old house. They died years and years ago. And uh, we just have never done anything with it. Uh, we were going to sell the land. We was hoping somebody would buy it and we wouldn't have to worry. Know with it, but we have got letters and complaints over the years. So we we have finally got in contact with someone to clean it up. So we're we're going to take care of it. Who have you, if you don't mind me asking, Mr. Layton, who have you gotten? Who have you gotten to? Uh, Mr. Bud Busby. Okay. Oh yeah, he'll All knock right. it out in an hour. It, you uh, you have a timeline. I know this is weather related to to some degree, but you know when this will be done. He he said as soon as we gave him the go ahead, it would be according to the weather, but he could do it right away. Okay, according to the weather. And, and when do you anticipate giving him the go ahead, or have you given him the go ahead? 
Uh, we have uh, uh, contacted him and told him we, we were going to let him know soon. Okay. I, I'm on, Mr. Lee, I mean, we've had, as you made the comment before, you've gotten several letters from the county over the years, and, and, and I'm continuing to get him phone calls on it. I'm going to go ahead and declare this a nuisance, and basically I'm going to ask the board today that if that uh, dwelling is not on the ground and gone by this time next month or the next meeting, whatever date that is, at the end of the January, that Mr. Jones, who is our code enforcement officer, go ahead and start working toward getting two beds. And then, you know, at the end of the day, Mr. Lake, either you're going to take it down or I'm going to ask this board for us to take it down. And then we'll assess that, that, that cost back onto your, your tax taxes to get re reimbursed. It's just the time is of essence from the standpoint, it just needs to come down. Why don't you yeah. declare it a nuisance and then it's. Well, it's, it's, in a, it's in an estate, and then the JP court doesn't have any any uh, issues with the estate. Can't can't enforce it from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. I talked to Dwayne yesterday <coughs> about it on vacation this week, and I just don't want to keep this thing dragging out. They haven't given the contractor the go ahead yet. At least they've got one on on, on set to go. Uh, you know, if I if the contractor was here and say he had gotten the go ahead in the next seven, ten, fifteen days, he'd be on the ground. I'd be okay. It would take I him an hour to put that on the ground. I mean. You're only talking about minutes. Yeah, I mean, I, a piece I, of equipment and clean it but up. I, I just don't want this to drag it out. I don't want to have to right. come back up from us. Well, is it is it easy access into the property? Oh yeah, it's off oh, okay. 58. So then he should what well, weather it really going off? There's your site right there from the highway, there. right there. The How old are up. those windows? Jay won't. No, I'm, I know my wife loves buying that kind of stuff, probably so y'all probably take them, them out and sell them. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably built in Maybe the you'll take 50s them out, Paul, or Jay. 60s. Yeah. Maybe unless you take Man, them out. I don't know if that's old enough for window for or not. I'm, not. I'm not the expert on it, but <laughs> I know there was a house around the corner for me. That they the only they thing, if you try out. to take them out, the roof's going to fall in. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, well I, I guess know. maybe what I'll, I'll ask this of the board, if uh, if the grant, if it's not on the ground by January 28th, 29th, whatever that date is, give Dwayne permission to go ahead and get two bids on demolishing it and it will act on it at the mid-February, February 15th, 16th meeting. And that'll give you an extra 15 days, Mr. Layton. That'll give you okay. about, roughly about 45 days to get it on the ground. Okay. But by that mid-February meeting, if it's not on the ground, then I'm going to come back and ask this board to go ahead and pull the trigger and let us do it and, and get it assessed and go from there. Okay. You don't want that because then it's yeah. called it's gonna to you. It's a lot cheaper for y'all to do it than it is for us to do it, okay. I, I'll tell you. But I do appreciate y'all coming yes. and addressing this issue. It's a big help to the folks out there in the community. Well, maybe you're not the one I need to ask, but, do, but since that's in our parents estate or whatever do we need to get need to get that switched over to our our name in our name or does That's it matter man, tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to give you a legal answer and i don't know if you'll understand it <laughs> <laughs> until, until somebody is placed by court in charge of the estate that property's not going to be able to be sold okay. so the short answer is if an estate needs to be open on both of your parents do they have wills no. Okay. So there's a process that's gonna, you're going to have to go through. I'll be honest with you. The process itself is probably more costly than the value of the property. How much acreage are we talking about? It's three acres. Yeah. What do you think? Don't put me on a spot like that. No, sir. <laughs> I mean, is that a, is it? How, how, let me ask this question. How much do you think that it would cost to process through the? Two state proceeding? Yeah. Charge $4,500 to do the test date. The site is well worth that. It's it, oh, yeah. considerably more than that. It's three, it's three, it's three, it's three acres. It's three acres on 468. I was thinking 20. More. More. Okay. More. Well, then it's worth it for y'all to get that straight so you can sell, at least sell the property. Okay. So, so it's not just the money to get it done, but obviously the value of the property is seized the amount of money. Yeah, they so do come to a one the one that I'm not getting that one. He did it today, and it was a brick house. Tear it down. Tear it down. I didn't know. Mr. Slade, do you need do you need any kind of a motion? Yeah. From what what we need at this Bob. point is um, a motion for Bob to declare a nuisance. Okay. Uh, to revisit the issue of whether the house is going to take it down. By the time of the January it's two one, February first. And then we will allow. Planning commission meeting. And if it's not on the ground at February one, the board will then consider going ahead and 
receiving two bids for uh, taking the structure down and assessing it as a as an item of tax abalorum. Is that your motion? That is my motion. Okay. Got a motion by Mr. Morrow, second by Mr. Uh, Morrison. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed the like sign. For the record, we'll close that hearing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Slay. All right, Thank anything, you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Anything else, Ms. Lawrence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good if you want you to, unless you want to stay. You're welcome to. <laughs> All right, so entertain a motion to adjourn the Planning Commission meeting. So moved. A motion by Mr. Morrow. Second. S second by Mr. Bishop. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed the like sign. All right, so let's call the Rankin County Board of Supervisors uh, work session to order. Public comment. I don't see anyone. Mr. Slay, while you're up and running, item six, I believe, is you. Sorry about that. I'll let you sit down before I called you back. Good. Moving quickly. All right, so uh, item A under my section is a discussion of and potential action to authorize the transfer of county real property that accesses the drainage area at Highway 80 and Terrapin Skin Creek. This request was made by on behalf of the city of Brandon. Um, and I'm going to let uh, Mr. Mr. Bob help us walk through that request if he doesn't mind. This is, if we discussed this many, many moons ago and just never really moved on. <coughs> yeah, why did we not do it to start with? I forgotten. Uh, city didn't keep pushing it, and it came back up because they're getting ready to get back in that ditch. Uh, and it's just, I, if I had to guess, this is probably a small sliver of the old um, horse barn facility down there that the county ultimately sold to the Chevrolet folks. And somehow this little bit of a parcel of land did not get launched into it, and that's why it's still showing up on that the county owns it. The mayor is requesting us to, to uh, give that to him for the sake of having legal access into that ditch on that side of, of the ditch. Which side is it? It's the west side. I'm trying to get here to show you a map of it. Uh, but, uh, and that's, well, that's it right there. While Supervisor Morris is finding the property, uh, let me take from the, from the legality side of the equation. Uh, that's the ditch. I believe it was last. Legislative session, that's Mark Baker uh, was able shelter. successfully had an amendment to a statute passed that allows political subdivisions to transfer real property intergovernmental to intergovernmental without any fanfare. We don't have to declare it surplus. We don't have to offer it for bid. It's, it, it can just be done if the board is of a mind to do it. Well, how did we do the last part that we gave them? Did we not? Yeah, that was before the statute got addressed, and they were talking about the the uh, the property on Marquette. Yeah. Yeah. There was there was consideration on both sides of the equation. If you recall, there were there was city property that was involved in that, and there was county property that was involved in that. Yeah. So there was consideration for both, and it was able to be compliant with the statute. Now the statute's been changed so that you don't have to go through all that rigmarole. Okay. All right. Doesn't mean you have to. You just you can if you choose to do so. Well, Bob, there was some issue about it before. I know. Wasn't it about the horse barn? We just want a little more land over there. What do you want? It's just I don't think there's any more to give. I mean, well, I think we gave a lot. We gave way too much. Uh, thirty eight, thirty something acres around that barn. I mean, I don't want to say thirty acres, but I would say acres. The, the amphitheater is around the horse barn. That's what no, across no, the road is thirty. <coughs> there's some land, of, mm -hmm. and Mike can speak Very more. Is the parking <coughs> the area behind the parking? There's some land back through there that, I mean, and well, if Ken was here, he. Could I think we help cut us. the corner where we used to have the parking lot. <coughs> right. I think we gave up a little yeah, much. We cut. Uh, so what are we trying to accomplish with the more land? We want a little more park, park get was, our parking area back. It was kind of understood that where the fence is now, that if we needed additional parking, that we could use that whenever we gave it to the city. But then shortly after, there was a, a fence that went through. There's a gate there now, too. There, I talked to the mayor about that when he made the request. He said the gate there is for the reason that it, it, it 
that we nothing in writing yet, but we could, you know, as long as there wasn't an event going on, we'd go and back and park back in the back behind the amphitheater, and vice versa. If they have to come in our side, then they could, you know, could u utilize our space. I don't think you can drive through there. Actually, actually, I don't think you could drive through there. You can't. Though, can you? But you could before we started piling cow manure in front of the gate. You know, well, so cow manure. Yeah. <laughs> actually, the way it happened. <laughs> Is, uh, <laughs> way, if you remember, if you remember, actually the way it happened is the day we resolved, we agreed to do that. We brought up about the additional parking and meeting that. And Greg says, "I'm sure the mayor would mind us using it for overflow parking." And the mayor says, "No." Didn't say that to me. But he said that right there. He sure did. And he well, said, let's, no. just, let's consider swapping even amount of land. I'm gonna let Mr. Gaines be in charge of that transaction. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, do it. But he said he's more than willing to do the cooperative. And I think the land over here on 80 is probably much more valuable. Uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. Oh well, let's just keep it then if it ain't worth nothing. But we go look at it on the map. I mean, I'm, I'm look at your computer. And see I'm just talking about. I think what you're talking about. I'm just talking if we about could just take that this. parking that way, we could have. If if we need to have uh, more um, what did say? slips and all that, we could we got somewhere we can expand a little more because that is where our problems are becoming to be. In hindsight, twenty twenty, but we should have never given up quite that line when he drew that line in there. We should have kind of held strong and not given up so that, this, that much. Would this be the parcel you're referring to? I, 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 I can see it better when I'm there. It's the know. right back corner. Uh, yeah, it's the right, very right back corner. Which bottom you come down the road. Please. Mike, are y'all piling cow manure up somewhere in the city? Uh, I okay, well, I want to clean it up if we are. Yes, sir. There you go. That's what we own. And that's what the uh, city Yeah, has. we can sell it. Uh, and all this back People here is like about, about, about the garden. By the city too. Right there, what yeah. about. You won't. You just basically won't that little carve out. I'm thinking that's, that's kind of what we you know, see. What we try. About. That's what we tried to do initially, and then he drew the line here. Yeah. And we tried to do it just like what we're saying, and then then he came back and said had his line drawn here, and it brought us in tighter and tighter. And we really didn't want to do that, and that's when the it was this, this parking here because we were using it. And that's when a comment was made, and in fact, it uh, started holding up. All right, so if I go to him, hey, hey Steve, please, you mind coming out here just for a second? Come look this. So this is the horse. This is the horse barn. They actually they own this. The city owns this track right here too. Yep. But they own all this up here. So if I show the mayor that you want to go uh, pretty much just kind of right there where that open area is, so that's, that's going to get what you want? Yeah, because so that, Steve, is the parking that we yeah, used get to get the parking of George Bobo and everybody worked so hard to develop. <laughs> yeah, right through there. Is this where there's like a real big rock pile right now? Could be. Is that Mike? Yeah, well, that's right there. Where? Yeah, but yeah, that's a big rock pile right, right here. here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I, I mean, I'd rather defer to the people that are, I mean, Mike and That's Ken, it's for, it's where the best, but I would say either out here or here. Me too. Well, Steve, this, initially, we didn't I get think that this is where we had it no. figured right here. <laughs> uh -huh. He came back and redrew it and sucked us yeah. right up in here right. and cut us off short. Hey, you know and that's when it came up, well, well we could use this. <laughs> and that's when after he, <laughs> I remember Greg saying that. And Greg was like, set back when he said, mm-mm. I got plans for it. Well, let's. He may. He also well, may have it. And if I want to ask him, I mean, somewhere in, in here for additional parking. parking. Mm -hmm. So just yeah. to, so. Okay, so if I tell him, we want Ideally, we'd like this, but if he already he has did. that on his biking trail he plan did. or whatever yeah. the case it's may more. be, it was. And we come over here, and well, it may have <laughs> now it's changed <laughs> out of there, but I mean, it may come over here. Yeah. But we yeah. want we I want something out there to allow us to improve. To give us parking. more parking, yep. you know, for, of our own account. Yes, sir. Yep. We won't. Okay. We're trying, trying to get some destroyed. parking. Well, you see what it did. You see how it just chopped us off so close to the corner here. Yeah. And and so we really were wanting it to stay more like it was here. And he kept pressing that, and that's when that came up. Yeah. Afterward, he said, "No, it's mine now. You're giving it to me." Wish we had it. 
where we could actually draw that and corner right the there. It just comes straight across mm -hmm. and down that line right there. Mm -hmm. basically uh, and I think that's what Ken's going to, I think it was he's going to refer to. Yeah. You get, you get with Ken and that stuff today, and you don't know the tech. Is anything different? Unless, yeah. Uh, otherwise, right. we don't hear from you. Greg and I go yeah, that's forward on, we go back and visit and see if we can work something out. Yeah, I think we run that by real deal. Yeah. All right. Thank you all. Yeah. All right, Mr. Morrow. What do you want to do on this? No, we just poke. It's not, I think it was just a discussion item anyway. So okay. The, uh, What's it? I think we can work it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think something else we'll talk about from off the city too later on, maybe. So if not. there was, there was, uh, it was in fact on for potential action. What I'm hearing is that we want to delay any sort of action. We need to revisit the issue, right. and so we'll just simply reflect that this item was discussed, but no action was taken. Okay. Oh, good. All right, thank you, Mr. Slay. Ms. Oster, item seven. First item I have is approval to certify the Department of Revenue's order approving our real and personal property rolls for 2017. Oh, so they, everything got settled on it? That's great. I make a motion to approve. All right, so motion to approve with Mr. Bishop. Second. Second by Mr. Morrow. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, the like sign. Item A passes. Item B, Ms. Austin. Next item is authority to request proposals for HVAC service and maintenance contract. We have a scope. Craig's <coughs> looked over it uh, uh, that we would give to each company. We have four that have requested. What I'd like to do, since it's a professional service, is not we don't have to go out there and put it in the paper or anything, but I do have the four contacts that we would get all the information to, and they'd be able to give them a, a date. Motion to approve. <coughs> Motion to approve second. by Mr. Bishop, second by Mr. Morrow. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed to the like sign? Item B passes. Item C. Approval to appoint Brett, Deputy Brett McAlpin as the Rankin County Fire Investigator for 2018. Mm -hmm. All right, motion by Mr. Gaines, second by Mr. Morrison. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed to the like sign? Item D. Ms. Next Austin. item is review of your agendas. We Check. do have um, three <laughs> personnel requests that will go on that are not currently reflected, but I'll discuss those in executive session. Jay didn't have anything. I don't have anything. <laughs> I do not. Okay. Have y'all um, looked at it? You good? No. Good boy. No. Uh, agenda. Any questions on agenda? Yeah. I'm amazed we had this meeting. The only reason I come was that fan, old fan road thing. Good. Good All right. Thank you, Miss Oster. No comments on the agendas for Tuesday. Chuck, did you get that? No, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> go back. Go back. And listen to it. There. <laughs> All right. Something Jay said. All right, additional I'm business. I'm sure I'll forget it, though. <laughs> additional business, Ms. Oster. Uh, we have discussion of and potential action on the proposal from CMPDD to consolidate our county ordinances and provide them in a searchable format. They give us a price? 50000 Yes, it's... That's a deal. Not to exceed 50000 Huh? That's a deal. Yeah, That's less exceed. than it would have cost us five years ago. It's not to exceed. Uh, I don't... Uh, and it's going to give us a searchable format online with uh it searches by what it what, what I mean, I was in that part of that meeting with you yeah you can search, search by anything search it by word or yes. whatever is that what we were uh just a kind of a separate thing what did we ever come up with on searching our minutes by word did we ever do anything with that too or is that kind of well, you know our website our company said they could do it but uh, yeah they were. Okay. Uh, they were. So okay, I'm good with this. I thought you Jessica, you had something on searching, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, you can search them. Yeah. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. It's been we was talking about something back then, maybe with Larry. We're Smith's not using there. their, whose product we're using? For the minute? Yeah. It's minute tracker. Track. Yeah. It's so, called a yeah. cell. It's not through our, it's not yeah. through the no. website. No, yeah. but you can go on them through. Please right. Yeah. Anything yeah. I say, just scramble it. <laughs> <laughs> you can Lost go on the website yeah. and do a search, and it'll pull you up the documents mm -hmm. in the minutes. Yeah. And then what that is. yeah. There you go, Bob. Does this help you, Renee, putting this out there like that? As far as I mean, I, was, I assume if they've got a question to Craig about it, they have to call her to get the or you, I guess. Uh, yeah. Most of the time. 
uh, if they're looking, if we don't get a, I wouldn't think we get a whole lot of requests because you can <coughs> have access to the development ordinance. Uh, that's already on the site uh, and available. That's the operative ordinance for the vast majority of inquiries you're gonna get about different things. Uh, my, my suggestion would be that you're still gonna get phone calls because there's still gonna be folks that even though it ha they have access to it, they either don't want to go hunt it, <laughs> they'd rather just call and get a short answer fast, mm -hmm. or they're having trouble finding it. Mm -hmm. And so I anticipate that it won't clear all of our calls, but over time this will certainly uh, uh, start to reduce the number of calls that we get, the consistent same calls that we get. And Bob, if it wasn't from, you know, it's going to help us in being able to condense down all of our ordinances, go back and bring them all into one whether we have multiples out there you yeah. know but so this is your intent to go ahead and consolidate that clean up all that old yes stuff i think that's probably the side benefit of this is we're going to actually discover through this process why do we still have that ordinance that yeah. thing hasn't been used for 40 years why is it there we've got ordinances that and I, I have a book of ordinances that i've already made available to cmpd that go back to 1968. Wow. And so, Prior to CMPD coming on board, we were going to have to go either to North Carolina or, or Florida to get somebody to do this. And since they're coming on, Craig can do some the whatever research they can't do. And uh, right. so uh, that, that's going to be beneficial will, to all of us. They will carry the vast majority of the work, but full disclosure, the 50000 that CMPD is charging for the work will not include what my time. So I'm just going to bill my time that I'm working on it under my normal agreement with the board. It's just one of the extra items of service that I'm providing. And, and so that there's, there will be some additional calls, but CMPDD is a not to exceed. Yours, and the, and you the, explained yours was pretty minimum yes, sir. as far as I don't need to <coughs> reviewing. And, yeah. Yeah, what I'll do is uh, essentially uh, the way I see it playing out is they'll send me a scanned copy of, of an old and ordinance say and yes say, no. Is this, is this an ordinance that needs to be looked at? Yeah. And I'll be able to quickly address it there. So I, I expect my time to be minimal. And I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be housed on their website or their, or their servers, and we just have a link on our uh, website to access it. So how it be It'd done. be the easiest. <coughs> we, we haven't talked about that specifically with them. It would be curious. But we would have the option to do it any way we want to do it. I think there's an extra step in the process. If they digitize them, they're going to have to send it to us through our IT and let IT upload it on our system. So my suggestion would be sort of like we do with the mapping. Job. Yeah, they already so host our mapping recently. stuff. I just said that since we're talking about updating our website anyway with the ego of potentially to make sure all that still flows. I don't, I'm sure it wouldn't be an issue, but just yeah. make sure that Nick's aware that we're getting ready to bring that feature yeah, to I the website. From, from a user interface standpoint, it won't make any difference to a constituent if they click on a link that says C ordinances or Rankin County ordinances online. They click that link and it takes them to the secondary site. I don't think that's going to make a bit of difference. Most people they'll never know. Don't know. That. Yeah. They'll never know. So I'm good with it. And this wouldn't have any kind of contracts on it or anything like that, would it? We already have contract with them. And so it'll be incorporated with what we already have. They're offering to do this as with part of their Part of their agreement, technical services agreement. So their agreement says we do all these things for you as a part of your membership in CMPDD. And they also have a part of the agreement that says if you want us to do some additional services, we can provide those at our prevailing rates. So we're going under that section of yeah. the existing contract. No, no need to go into an additional contract. Okay. I think the best way for them, I mean, they, they know us more personally. They're local. Yeah. Well, I mean, they know. If they, they need know more about our stuff and business and anyway. We had somebody from Florida. Yeah. Somebody on our side would have to do, do the work. Right. Monumental right. Amount yeah. of work. They would end up basically taking the digital format that we provide for them and manipulating it and sending it back to us. This way we've got somebody on Lakeland Drive who's going to come over here and actually sit down and go through the documents. I make a motion to approve. Second. All right, so motion by Mr. Bishop, second by Mr. Morrison. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed to the like sign? Item A passes. Item B. This next item is discussion of and potential action on a 
budget amendment to increase our recreational funds. Um, you know, there was legislative action that allowed for $50,000 and then by choice of the board during budget time, they reduced it to um, $5,000. Uh, for each area, or twenty-five thousand. Or the I'm sorry, right? You're cut it in half. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They cut, they did cut it in half. So um, it's been suggested by several that we might want to increase it again, but I would have to do a budget amendment because only It'd be back to the, the just be adding an additional five thousand. Correct. Twenty-five. Yeah. 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 I make a motion to approve. Yeah. Second. Second. Third. Third. <laughs> All right, so you got well, a I've, got, I've got people that have children that go to six different high schools. Two of them are large and have pretty good budgets. Four of them barely have the money to change out bulbs, you know, in their gym or something. All right, so you got a motion by Mr. Bishop, second by myself. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Right. Any opposed to the like sign? Item B yeah, passes. Item C. This is discussion of amending rules, regulations, and rental fees of county-owned facilities. How this came up, and it wouldn't be all of them, was the extension service wanted to uh, go up on the fees that they charge currently um, from 175 rental fee to 225. Uh, I believe that's all, and then they wanted to um, a couple of other small things that don't have anything to do with money about it's their responsibility to pick up the key timely. We looked at the rest of the facilities. I think the reservoir is fine. We're not going to touch the, the livestock at this time. The only other one that looks like we might want to adjust the rental on would be Greenfield. It's quite heavily used as one of our lowest amounts that's charged. Um, their rental fee is only $100 for the day hmm. and uh, $50 for those in the fire district. So we thought about looking at going to 150 for the day and 100 for those that are in the district. So it would only be the extension service that we would change and the um, Greenfield Community Center. So we only have this as a discussion item. So if you would like... Well, why, uh, are they, why are they want to increase it? Did they get the funds? Extension, extension service. service. They Doug keep wants the funds? To. Well, they want to. No, they don't keep it. It all comes here. So the, He's what? having issues. He's having a lot of issues with people they're, circumventing they're, the rules by wanting to come in the night before. Excuse me, ma'am. What is your name? Janice. <laughs> Janice, where do you live? I live in Brandon, Mississippi. Thank you. Thank you. I represent Janice. I've got her covered. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, Doug called, Doug called and had had several problems and asked about raising the fees because he's having people with wanting to not abide by the rules and same thing so we had the cameras turned around trying to keep security down and all that because and then, it is it, he's having some major issues i don't know that raising the fees is going to make saying. anybody behave or do or follow the rules yeah but, but um, he's thinking that maybe at a higher price that some of the ones that don't want to buy by the rules and, might and not rent it that i'll say i know one of the county facilities that was getting out of hand like that and this has been a few years ago. They raised the, I don't even know if there was a flat fee at all at that time, but put a deposit in there and the problem went away. So it, it, it may. They do have a deposit. Um, they do have a deposit. Yeah, they have a hundred dollar deposit. Each one of our facilities have a deposit that if yeah. there's no damage, they right. So where are we going back. from? I think this was before that. Um, 100, 100 from 175 to 225, that would be a 50 dollar oh, increase on that, yeah, and then it would be a 50 dollar on the Greenfield. But it's not. It's just today. It's on discussion. If you would like for me to get you a copy of each one of these, so you can see what we currently charge, and we can put it back on for either the uh, second, or we can put it on for the 15th meeting. Let's, we're 16 Let's do that. Well, this, if, if we just give us till the next meeting, I'd like to talk to Doug. Okay. okay. You want him the second or the fifteenth? It don't matter. I, I mean, I can talk to him in the next few days. So whenever yeah. the news, we'll, we'll put it back. We'll put it on whichever week. Tuesday. Tuesday. It don't matter. I, I mean, I'll talk okay. to him today. Okay. Well, you want to leave it on for Tuesday then? Whatever y'all want to. Do. Right. Just put it on for the agenda next we'll time. Working for you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else on item C, Ms. Oster? Um, no, nothing on that. Okay, so item D. This would just be discussion of our proposed personnel policy. I had 
giving y'all all a copy I put it on your desk with the I did a highlight page an overview page of what changes were if y'all had any problems if you wanted to change anything <coughs> questions about anything because I would like to get this approved on the second if we could um, I'm sure I'm sure everybody on the board ready especially Jay he can probably give us some if y'all want if y'all want some updates here it is <laughs> right here I, if I'm not mistaken I think the biggest change out there really was our Facebook policy we were going for a much more stringent policy and the attorney said we're we're interceding on uh, freedom of speech yes. to do that so we can't that, do that that was one of the things the other thing that we have the major things would be um, like job descriptions which I don't think we, we probably have just two that aren't finished, but Sherry has compiled those and got with the department heads. We have most of the job descriptions available now. Well, I have one question, okay. actually. Um, the part about specifying certain departments on being able to rehire employees and they get offered medical insurance where the rest of our departments don't have that. Why are they going to be special? What do you mean? What do you mean in the rehire? Yeah. The for retirees that can come back on it. Mm -hmm. Several years ago, there was a change that allows it is legal for a retiree to come back on insurance, and that is at the discretion of the board. The only people that are currently doing that are in those offices that are by fee paid officials, and they pick up, they pick it up themselves. Where that change says in there, it would be if the board wanted to do it, it would be discretionary, but it would be reflected in a salary reduction. Like if you had a retiree that's wanting to come back on and I'm just going to pick a number of 35,000 would be what they would come back. If y'all would allow it and they wanted to go back on the insurance, if our package is 7,000, they would come back at 28 to get the benefit of that insurance. Well, I thought that when you retired, you had to come back part-time anyway. You do come back part-time, and that it, but the law just does allow so you to put I, them back on. Personally, I don't think we should be putting part-timers on insurance. <coughs> That's why I gave you that list, and if you don't want it, we can, we can I mean, allow that. Our we insurance can. already takes a hit. We're already cool. going in the hole every year. Um, I, I don't know why we would exasperate the situation. How many of those part-time employees do we have? Yeah, we about that. Um, we have yeah, about. Um, I did pull a list because of the one person that you know John had asked for an increase, and y'all asked me. We have about 64 part-time people. There's only four that that would be affected by what John wanted to do. Almost the rest of them are going to be retirees. Doesn't mean that they have to go back on it at all doesn't mean that you have to let them back on it. It's just listed as an option if you wanted to do it, but it would be a reduction in what they come back at. Does this not counter what we talked about, number of years being with the county and having the opportunity of... of no, voting? sir. That's if you retire and you don't come back, what you're allowed to do, and that was okay. fixed. Yeah. as far as having to have the number of years that, and you your service. You this is only for returning retirees. If Explain this because I, I don't understand a lot of this insurance, but the premium is what we're talking about. Yes, sir. All right. If there's a catastrophic event, and I'm just saying, God forbid, they capture, and it's more than what our coverage is. The county pay for support. Are we going to take that out of their salary? No, sir. <laughs> then I'm not for it. That's exactly what I was getting at. No, sir. I mean, that part right there, and, and I hate to say that, I mean, it sounds cruel, but we could bring people back and end up a lot worse with off. the part time employee <laughs> that is costing us. You, you could, dollars you could in some instances, but you're going to have instances too. Like, say we have a retiree that they started real young. They've got their 25 years in. They retire. They're well under the age of See, getting of 65, being yeah. able to get Medicare. any kind of yeah. Medicare or anything. So they want they come back part time. They have the ability to get on it. Well, if they don't come back, they still have the ability to be on your retiree's insurance by virtue of having the number of years that qualifies them to stay on it till they're 65. Well, I just asked Jay that, and he said no. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what so, are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Question.
and, and so I would much I, rather them take that option. They can come back work for us part time and still do the insurance all themselves. This way, we're not paying for a part time employee insurance. Question, quick question: Which department has the most uh, part time employees? Hey, what is the age that you would have the most? My question was who's got the most insurance department has the most majority of Y'all have some? We do too. I mean there's there's part timers all over the county and retirees. Let me let me get straight. All right. If I'm a fireman and I put in 25 years, I started when I was 25 years old, I'm 50 years old, I retire. I've got my retirement. I can still pay for my insurance after I leave, and if I have a catastrophic event, the county's gonna catch it. Yes, sir. So there's no difference. There is no difference. On that catastrophic part. There is no difference. I rescind what I said. There is sure, no got that. The, the one part that we do <laughs> okay. have in there would right. be I, once I asked that question and I misunderstood Jay's answer that 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 person if you retire before you're eligible for Medicare that you would not be able to participate in our insurance but you can as long as you if pay you, for your insurance. right if, if you they meet, qualify if they qualify right. by the number of years yes you do and you pay all the premium just like anybody uh, would or the county pay pays, all the premium, but anything we'll overage, such as a catastrophic event, would call, fall back on the county. You, still don't, you don't get that either way. Yes, but sir. according to this, is not what this says. This says that these three departments get to have part time workers come back to work and have insurance. It doesn't say number of years that they've been there. That's a retiree. That's right. under the retiree provision. It, yeah. Right. And it's listed in there too that if the board wanted to right now like I said the only people doing it by law are those that pay out of their fees why would you why read would the retiree part Jake? eligible to receive you reading this part right here or is insurance yeah. from us yeah. retirees and they're paying their premium if they come back why would they care because they're already paying it and if they get in, we're gonna take it away from their salary if they want to get back on it well actually the county has to pay double we got to pay both sides whenever we're part-timers come back i think that's a purse deal isn't it oh no we got to pay purse on, just purse on part-time yes a retiree yeah. you pay purse on mind. yes years ago you didn't but you do pay, you do pay yeah. purse on a retiree Is that coming off the salary no that has to be paid by the county for a retiree coming back <laughs> we need part-time people to fill places because we don't we don't want to say well I can't put a part-time person here so I'm just gonna hire full-time uh, a, a typical part-time person that is not a retiree that is not going to be on PERS is going to be less than 20 hours a week they're not going to have the benefit of the insurance nor PERS that's a straight <coughs> part-time person that comes so you have to work more than 20 hours to be eligible for this no, sir. These are only retirees, returning retirees. Yep. That's all that applies to, and they can only work. Well, how about this? Only, yeah, how about this? If we put in uh, add the part qualified, which would mean they need to be here ten years. Okay, you want to make it so not oh, only yeah. they oh, yeah. they fall under the qualifications for that. That way, they if like they everybody back, else in the county. I can do that. I can do that. I would, I'd say uh -huh. yeah. A returning retiree must meet the same yep. qualifications in order as, to get insurance. Okay. In order yeah. for the insurance, I can fix that. Up. I mean, that's only fair. Yeah. I mean, ten years with the county. Yeah. Right. Well, I think it says more than that now because it used to be ten years. Or fifteen. But I don't know what the number is. It says ten, or 12. ten as their most. I think we're changing right, ten consecutive, consecutive yeah. and then a total of because we had 20. some that split. Some right. years, yeah, so, so we did fix that. Right, yeah. 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 I can fix that. Anything else needs to be fixed? That's about all I can read. Out, all that legal jargon you put out there. All right. Do you need a motion for that? Or just, no, no, I don't. It will come up. We'll have it back on the second. 
All right. Anything else additional business-wise? I have one thing I meant to bring up just during, uh, actually during the planning commission. Craig, you know, we talked about um, we got uh, had some law change and we were holding off to the election to have some of these out-of-county uh, papers served. I, I don't know where we are there, and I, the election's over. I'm going to move forward on that. Absolutely. Uh, at this point, when I jump in here, we've got to have uh, one of the Justice right. Court judges actually has to delineate which exact files that they're going to authorize that method of service. That's the first step. Okay. And you know, we were waiting on a uh, price to Laura of yeah, what they right. would charge, and, and I, I know that she's got that. In talking to the constables, there was only one willing to do it. And the last time I talked to Jessica, they were working up a price, but they haven't given me anything yet. But there was only one that was even wanting to do it at all. Well, he had told me, yeah, because he told and me and said he was going to get something right. to me, and I have not gotten anything. Okay. Well, what do we need to do? To I'll just have to call him yeah. and tell him that. If I'm he's getting, still I'm getting it. And I these people really have been patient. Something. They're hearing all this. Because we have waiting. to basically contract with him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, you know, now that we have an additional, we have a new constable, right. they might also, he might also be willing to. May. And that was a hold, hold up. He that. had asked who wait till this the election was over to lighten his loads. Right. Because yeah. he'd done a great job of carrying both right. districts. Right. I'll, I'll reach back out. I think the Justice Court judges are prepared to do their side of the deal. Okay. But until we know who's going to be willing to do it, they okay. can't enter the right. order well. saying go do it. All That's right, right. Well, let's we'll, we'll circle back we'll around that. on that again. I'll get with him. Okay. And we do have need for executive <coughs> session for personnel and we got uh, and litigation. 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 All right, so entertain a motion for executive session. Second. Motion by Mr. Morrow, second by Mr. Gaines. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed, the like sign. Motion passes. Executive session. Mike, I guess we'll talk about the radio stuff next week. Hey, Renee. Hey, Mike, I have a question. Right yes, sir. This is off, I mean, I we say off the now. We're going to change up one of y'all. You call, him, you call him words. Words? Okay. Words. 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 What would we the do? ice skating like one good to have in Pearl, oh, I mean, it's in Jay's district. Yeah. Well, I, I had some employees call me and say that they had Look up the ordinance had, that pertains so to that. Heat, should be able to they've got to keep correct. the temperature lower than the outside. It's about whatever temperature is outside is 15 degrees low. And they brought in and propane in these big you know, I said, well, you can't do that. I'm we sure you can't do that. Indoors? Yeah, a combustible. You know, well, if it pumps over, it goes out. I said, well, what if it don't pump over? And it well, it still kills. They said, well, we asked if we could run some little electric for a little area where the employees, you know, you know maybe break or whatever. And because there will be said, ones that they're still going to be in play, but there might be language that supersedes the only one in the building. Whatever. Pair it down to the new, but I believe that they will still function as an archive feature. That's what I understand. Maybe the old ones, even though we have a new one that supersedes. You know. I think it just eliminates. Well, what are you talking about? That skate Was it closed for a while? Laying in water. Look, I told them. I said I guarantee your management knows where the problem is, and they'll try to cheat the system because they made it. Take it. it. <laughs> but so don't say anything. Don't do anything. Stay the I'm sure. Brad, As any ordinance is, whether it's like our personnel. I told him, I said, I guarantee you, right. you're mad. So I got a motion by Mr. Morrow to go into executive session okay. for personnel matters. Second and by myself. And litigation. and litigation. Second by myself. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, any opposed to the like sign. All right, Ms. Jensen, shut us down. Got to do that before you turn it off.